Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Alrighty everyone, so today I'm doing something a little crazy and like not normal. I'm unstuffing all of the money from all of my binders, whether the challenges are complete or not. And there's a very good reason for this and you guys will find out. So I'm really excited to jump into this video. What I'm going to do is I am going to use my savings challenge tracker. Oh, please don't fall over binders, please. So this savings challenge tracker, and I'm going to track all of the money that I unstuff so that we can have an idea of how much savings I have this month. But let's shove these binders forward a little bit so they've got some space for my tracking here. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to, yeah, I'm gonna start with this binder over here that can't even stand up because the money is just like so jam packed in here and we're gonna pull some money out. So let's go ahead and do that. So this one is actually complete. So I can pull this challenge out and this one actually is complete as well. So I will pull this one aside. All right, and then let's make sure this stays cause cute. Okay, now this binder can actually close and I will set it up here. Okay, so the first challenge is my color roll and save butterfly savings challenge. This one is my challenge, and let's see how much this one saved me. Why don't we write butterfly here? And I don't know when I started that, but let's just put January, and then it's March now. So we're going to go from January to March and see how much it saved. So let's go ahead and give it a count. So I've got 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. So I've got $170 saved from this one. So let's go ahead and try not to forget 170. So we'll write it down. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the money in the cash tray here. And these are all ones so they can go here. So it'll look like this. Perfect, okay, so Let's go ahead and unstuff this one next. So again, this one is actually a completed savings challenge and this was my Hello Honey. Now 111 was from previous, but that's not getting tracked on here because that money has already been saved somewhere else. So we're just gonna count up this one for Hello Honey. Now, do I write first? Do I count first? I never know. We'll go Hello Honey here. Jeez, when did I start Hello Honey? had to be in, I don't know, maybe December. I have no idea, 2023, could have been before then, um, to March of 2024. Not very good with the dates, guys, but you know, I do my best. All right, so I have 100, 20, 40, 65, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 200, and 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 277, I believe. Some of those ones got stuck to each other. 277 sounds right to me, so we're going with it. Let's put this 100 up here, and then we'll put the rest of the money where it goes in the tray including making sure that that 50 gets put in the right spot. So the rest are ones here. So we'll drop these down here and that is looking good. Okay. So then, so you guys saw that I did pull the money out of this box. So now this box is empty and I ended up saving that in with my last video. The only binder that I am not going to pull cash out of is this one right here because I have been working so hard on this. I want to actually complete this in cash and be able to unstuff it all in cash. 
So this one I am not unstuffing. And then same with my mini binder from Budget with Ira. I have been working on this and I've been working on it in cash. And when I finally do unstuff it, I want it to be in cash. So aside from that, so I'm also leaving my son's B-Bucks challenge for now because I just don't know what I want to do with it yet. But other than that, I'm going to take all of the money out of all of the challenges, whether they are complete or not. So let's go ahead and start with this big A5 binder. And Savings with Share Bear is right here. And Savings with Share Bear has $25, $26, 27 $28. So let's put the $28 here. So $25, So $28. And I'm not going to like prop place like swap any money out i'm just simply going to go forward with the challenges from here so share bear saved us 28 so 28 for share bear let's go to the next one here now these are i mean some of them are kind of close to being complete but um they're just going to continue on so 5 10 11 12 13 14 dollars from this little valentine's bear so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 from this one. I feel like I should add some of them together because I'm not going to have enough lines <laughs> if I don't. So why don't I do that? So I got 14 from that little Valentine's bear. Let's go ahead and pull my puppy love savings challenge and add that to it. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So we're going to add, oh, add 31. So I'm at 45 so far for a few of these Valentine's challenges. So let's go ahead and add in another. So my Be Mine Boo savings challenge right here. 10, 11, 12, 13. Let's add 13 to that number. So I'm at 45. We're going to add 13. And I'm at 58. And then this one doesn't have anything. So let's go with the 58 for these Valentine's challenges in this binder. So those started in February. And I'm pulling them in March. I'm so excited, guys. I'll tell you all about it a little bit later. But yeah, it's like, it's a weird feeling to pull all the money out of your binders and you're like, am I doing the right thing? But you know, if you're doing, if you're doing something to help yourself, further yourself, better yourself, then you're doing the right thing. So just do it. They're your binders. It's your money. Get to pulling it, you know? All right. So we got kittens without mittens and I'm going to call this, uh, sparkle binder. I'm going to call it sparkle. Oh, geez. I can't spell sparkle, unfortunately. Okay. So I cleared out my, uh, calculator. 10, 20, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 26 and 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26. So far, let's add it on our calculator. Oh, that's just two. 26 plus. Okay. Let's see what else we have in this binder. I have this little I love you savings challenge. And this one is 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. So let's add that to our 26. So I got 44. And then let's go ahead do this little kitty. Kitty saved me 15. So we're going to add 15. So I'm at 59 in this binder. Llama love. Let's do llama love. 5, 10, 11, 12. 12 on llama love. So I'm at 71 in this binder so far. 71. And then there's a couple more. Yeah, let's just go for it. We'll do the whole binder. All right, so 71 plus, let's go ahead and add this little Valentine's Nomi in. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. 
So 23, so plus 23. So I'm at 94. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, is there one more? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. Yep, okay. So let's add this over to the cash tray here. And I'm at 94. And I think there was one more envelope. Yeah, my mystery scratch cards. Now, my mystery scratch cards has some prop money in it. I'm just going to leave the prop money where it is. And I will pull this extra dollar. So that brings me to $95 in this binder. So I put my dollar over here. And my sparkle binder, which most of them I started in February. And ended just now. But I'm going to keep the challenges in. Again, I'm going to keep rolling on them saved me $95. Perfect. So let's close this one up and I'll set it aside. Okay. So here is the cash tray so far looking good. I have this one here. Now I went back and forth on like these if I wanted to keep this one in cash or not, but you know what? I'm just going to pull what I have and then I will continue forward. I will finish out the binder. Um, you know, for the rest of the year, but these front envelopes I will have already pulled. So let's go ahead and pull the money out of January. Let's pull the money out of February. And even though I haven't completed March, I'm going to go ahead and pull the money out of March. So let's go ahead and do that. And then of course the rest of the binder is empty. So let's see how much this every fifth day savings challenge binder has saved me so far and I'm going to call it fifth day and I started this at the beginning of the year and I'm pulling it now and let's see how much we got Ooh, a couple hundy right off the bat I like that all right so I have 100 200 20 40 50 65 75 80 280, 1, 2, 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80. Yes, $280. That's incredible. Like literally three months and I already have $280. That's amazing. See, you've got a lot more money sitting in these binders than you think you do. Don't forget what you have. 280. Yes, 280. Okay, so 280 for my every fifth day. Now, let's keep going. Okay. So I am going to go into this binder again, along with that every fifth day binder. I really thought long and hard about what I wanted to do with this binder. I just did my, my weekly cash stuffing. So there's money still sitting in here, but these are the savings challenges that I have been working on. I'm going to do the same thing that I'm doing with my other challenges. I'm going to pull the cash, but I'm going to leave it marked off and I'm just going to continue on. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do our save fives. We're going to do our save tens. We're going to do our save 20. And we're going to do solo challenge. And we're also going to pull this cash that's in the back for this um, this one right here. So all the cash has been pulled out. I'm going to call this save 5, 10, 20 in solo. <laughs> Why do we call it that? 5, 10, 20 solo. And I started these, gosh, I think it was in February. And I'm pulling them in March. And let's see how much these challenges saved me in total. And there's got to be a good amount of money here. My tens. Let's kind of put things in order. Got some ones, got some tens, got some fives. Good amount of twenties, good amount of tens, good amount of fives. All right, let's add it all up and see. I feel like I'm going to be kind of shocked at how much money was sitting in all of my binders. Like This is kind of a cool thing to do, like just in general at any point, even if things aren't complete, just pull it all and see how much money you have. It's kind of really exciting. All right, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. Some of those tens got stuck. So this should be two. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
80, 90, 200. I wanted to like separate those sticky ones, but it's because I like to put all the crispy ones together. All right, so that's 210, 20, 35, 45, 55, 60, 5, 70, 1, 2, 3. So 273 dollars. That's pretty incredible for not very long. All right, so I'm just going to count it one more time to be sure. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3. 273 dollars is correct. Pretty good amount of money saved. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm getting very excited the more this cash tray fills. Oh, okay, I wrote that down. I'm good. Okay, so now this binder has been completely dealt with, so it can get set aside. And then we have this binder right here. So for this one, let's go ahead and we're going to have to do the same thing here. So we've got this one right here, which is, um, I don't know, we'll call it the unicorn challenge. Let me just write unicorn. And these I started in February with the rest of the Valentine's ones. Okay. And so this one saved me 20, 40, 55. So I got 55 from that one. So let's write down 55. Oops, my pen cap went flying. And then the next one is my cupcake color roll and save. So this one here, it looks like it's kind of a decent amount. Let's see how much we have. All right, let's set this binder aside. I'm trying to get my pen cap back where it belongs. All right, it looks like I need to get this one in order. Not too bad, not too bad. All right, so the cupcake, let's just write cupcake. Again, February to March saved me 20 30 40 50 65 70 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 78 20 30 40 50 60 5 70 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dollars yes i want to be oh my goodness i can't even keep it in my hands is this a joke 78 dollars written down let's put this back on and see if this pen will behave for me i am not convinced that it will all right, I'm going to put my money in the tray where it belongs, and we are rolling here. All right, all right, let's grab out another challenge in here. So this one here has like a combo of challenges. So let's just pull all the money out, and let's see how much that envelope saved me. Again, I think I'm just going to write Valentine. All right, let's see what we have here. All right, I think I got it into order here. Looks all right. Let's give it a count. 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 5, 65, 75, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 96, I'm going with, but I'm going to double check my math. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 96, 96, just from a couple little challenges being stuffed in an envelope together, that's a good savings for not even having it completed, that's awesome, okay, so I've got my 96 written down, let's go ahead and grab out the next one, so the next one here is this challenge from Budgets and Chaos, and that's got a good little stack in it too. So let's call that Skull Sisters. Again, we're gonna do February to March. And sometimes it's like annoying having to write all of it down. But at the end of the year, when I have like a happy planner, like savings tracker page to look back on for like the entire year, I'm gonna be like so glad that I like stuck with it and just wrote everything down because last year I feel like I didn't I wasn't as good at tracking 
So yeah, I'm just trying to be good about tracking this year. So I have a nice, easy way to look at all my savings for the year. Okay, so this one saved me 50, 70, 80, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Ooh, Skull Sisters doing good. $100, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95. Ooh, my tray's getting full. 96, 97, 98, 99, $100. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so put the rest of this money here. Straighten up my tray. And then let's see what else. We're getting towards the end of it, I feel like. Here we go. I've got all these challenges that I just started for spring slash Easter. And we put 20, 40, 50, 1. So 20, 40, 50, and 1. And I'm going to call this March because the savings challenge right on the front said March. Oh, I didn't start it in February. I started it in March. <laughs> M A. R C H. There we go. To March. All right. And then 51. Yeah, I already wrote that in. That's good. Okay, let's see what else. Good, 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 good. And then Boba. And then Christmas. Oh, and then I actually have one that is fully funded. So let's do the Boba first. So the boba saved me 30, 20, 30 dollars. And we're calling that boba. And that one was started in February to March. Oh my god, did I really just forget? I forgot. Oh, that's so frustrating. And I want to say 30. But you know what? I think we can just add the challenge together and that will give me my answer. Instead of checking the footage, nine plus one plus two plus five plus six plus seven, 30. Oh, 30 was right. I should have gone with my instinct, but I didn't want to mess it up. I had 51 in my head and of course that was from the last time. Okay, so 30 on the boba and then yes, my friends, we are unstuffing Christmas because all of this money is going to go towards my big savings challenge goal. My big savings challenge goal is to save 10K. Once I save that 10K, that's gonna get reallocated into sinking funds and other different things, including Christmas. So I will stuff my Christmas sinking funds from fully funded challenges, from my big challenge rather, okay? So that's the whole point of why we are unstuffing Christmas now. So this is Christmas, okay? And we started this, geez, we started this technically in December. 2023 stop guys stop i've been writing 2023 literally for all of these february's in january that's not oh 2023 wow i can either get out my whiteout or i can just understand that it's like four i don't want to like mess it all up and write four on all of them oh this is why guys dates and writing things it's too complicated for my brain Yes, December 2023 to March 2024. This is February of 2024 to March of 2024. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to get it right one of these days. 150, 70, 80, 90, 200. 200 dollars. Lots of good savings. 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200. 200 dollars from the Christmas one. Okay, and then this one is fully funded and this one is a valentine's challenge so 51 2 3 4 so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to add up yes i am going to add this up so i'm going to do one two three four i'm going to do 54 plus okay and let's put the 54 one two three four and i'm going to write valentine's here Okay, so I've got my 54. I don't want to lose it. Setting that aside. All the challenges in here are done, right? Just to confirm, I want to set it aside. Yes, yes, yes. Done. Set it aside. 
I'm adding that 54 from that Valentine's challenge in with these Valentine's challenges. Now these Valentine's challenges are actually complete, fully funded, which is awesome, except for this one, which I will continue to do, but I'm gonna pull it out of this binder and I'm gonna continue it, but I'm gonna continue it in this binder here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I will get an envelope for it. Okay, so that one from Brooke, which is super cute, and I gotta shake off the little confettis, saved me total so far, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So $19 needs to get added to that 54. I can't even like, get access my fives and ones anymore okay 19 dollars 19 plus 19 plus okay we're good so 19 plus okay so we're at 73 10 15 20 1 2 3 4 so 10 15 20 1 2 3 4 so we're gonna add 24 now we're at 97 so we're gonna put this in here we're gonna put my fives in here I'm gonna put my ones in the front, okay? And then this one, oh, this one isn't complete technically. Oh, I thought it was complete, complete on all of these. So I do have three more that I need to do. Another $15 for this entire binder to be complete. Okay, so I got my 97, let's add in this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So plus 35. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes, so plus 35 was right. Let's go to this next one, see how much we saved on this one. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Ooh, just kidding, let's try again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 27. So 159, 5, 10, 15, 20, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 was right, okay? Then let's go to this one right here. All right, so we've got, we have, we have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I'm going to do plus 18 equals... 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, perfect. All right, and then I think this is the last envelope. Nope, there's two more. All right, let's add this one. 20, yeah, I think it's all fives. Okay, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. So let's add 90. 267 so far, that's good. 20. 25, 30, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90. Yeah, that was correct. Put my fives in here. And then this last one here is, okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 24, so 20, let's add it plus 24 equals. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yes, I didn't want to forget. Okay, and that is all of it. So for these Valentine's challenges, it saved us $291. And this was started in February of 2024, Kelsey, <laughs> to March of 2024. Okay, so I got my 291 written down. Now, this binder's done. This is my sinking funds binder. It doesn't have anything in it that needs to be unstuffed. I have one more decision to make and that is whether I'm pulling the money, the cash out of this binder because this binder has B-Bucks and it also has my penny savings challenge. Oops, sorry, that one fell. I'm gonna pull my son's B bucks out, but this money is not going to get saved with this money. It's going to go directly into his college fund because that is what this money is meant for. So I'll keep it aside somewhere just totally different 
so that it goes right into his college fund. That's what I'm going to do. But yes, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let's, but I also want to save that penny savings challenge money. All right, this is my son's money. Let's deal with that in just a minute. Let's do the penny savings challenge first. I'm going to pull this cash out and we're going to count it with all the rest of this money. And the star notes are going to stay because they're specialty bills. I'm not pulling them. They are beautiful and they're going to stay exactly where they are. So that is going to stay. Now this money for the penny savings challenge is 100, 250, 1, 2. That's a good savings. All right, 100, 252. So let's write in 252 and that is penny. And that, geez, I, am, I don't even know. I'm just writing 2023 in general to March 2024. Okay, so that's the 252. So let's put this here, here, and then here. Now, I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to add my son's B-Bucks on like the very end. I don't want to print off a whole new sheet. So I'm just going to add it at the bottom. So 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, so 45. And again, I think I just want to keep this, like, don't even put it in the cash tray because this money is going to get sunk into different things. This goes right to the bank. So 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so for, uh, $45. Let's put it in this bank bag right here. And it's going to go right to the bank to go into my son's college fund. Okay, so that gets set aside separate. And I'm going to call it Buggies Bees. And it was $45. Okay, so now I'm going to make a new total line. And we're going to add up all of the money that I saved. Yeah, all of the money that was in my binders. That's incredible. All right, let's do it. I have 170 plus 277 plus 28 plus 58 plus 95 plus 280 plus 273 plus 55 plus 78 plus 96 plus 100 plus 51 plus 30 plus 200 plus 291 plus 252 plus 45 equals. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought. 2,379, should I write it down or should I double check it? I wrote it down on a scrap piece of paper over there. I'm gonna quickly go down through. Two thousand three hundred and seventy nine. I got the same number both times. Two thousand three hundred and seventy nine dollars. That's incredible. Oh my gosh, can't even believe it. Okay, my pen cap can finally go back on. My hands are so dirty from touching all of that money. Now what we need to do is we need to count up all of this money and make sure it matches. Now it's not gonna have the 45 in it. So we need to take the 2379 and we need to minus out the 45. So $2,334 should be sitting in this cash tray right here. Let's see if that's the case. 2,334. I'm going to write it down because I'm going to use the calculator. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. So six hundred plus 51, 52, 53. So 300 plus 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85. So that's 500. And then I've got 10, 20, 35. Uh, those aren't fives. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 
40, because those were two were stuck together. 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 360. Before I add it, I'm going to double count it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 360. That's correct. So 360. All right, and then we have all these fives. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 200. And then we have 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. Five, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 90. So plus 390. All right, getting closer, creeping up on our number here. Put the fives back and we'll grab a bunch of ones and begin the most fun part of counting money. Just kidding. All right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. That should be one hundred. So let's add one hundred. Okay, and that way I can kind of just set this back and um and do it all over again. All right, so let's shove that in there and let's go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. I'm slowing down, guys. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. Okay, home stretch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4. So plus 84 equals, oh, yay, $2,334, which was the number that I wrote down on the piece of paper beside me, which is the correct amount of money. We have done our math right. I say $2,334 to go into sinking funds and my long-term savings goal of saving 10k i also save 45 dollars for my son's college fund so that's really exciting and now i think what i need to do is i'm gonna i'm going to put all of this money towards the 10k savings challenge okay because i want to get somewhere on there i want to see that challenge get a little bit closer to complete however i need tires and i need to go to the sinking fund that says car maintenance because this car maintenance money is going to get pulled this month because I need tires. I believe I have 500 here. And if that's the case, I only need to add a hundred dollars into this to be able to get those tires. So one, two, three, four, 55. Yes. So we are going to, since we add in pink, I'm going to find my pink marker. All right. So we are going to add $100. Okay, so let's take a $100 bill, let's add it. Now, let's put this back down into the sinking funds folder, binder, envelope, whatever you wanna call it, and I can set that aside. And now, my money for my tires is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 50, 600. 
So that's perfect. I'm gonna take this $600 and I'm gonna bring it to the bank. So the only thing is, I think, I think it'll be easier if I don't have this many ones when I'm, when I'm doing all of that rolling and I'm putting this money towards my 10K savings challenge goal. So because of that, instead of bringing like 100 here, I am going to condense this money out a little bit. So let's just take the ones back to the bank, right? Let's at least take $100 in ones. Leave some of these nicer looking ones. All right, so these are all the nice looking ones. So let's try to at least swap out all of these ones and get them back to the bank since this money for my car is going to the bank to buy my tires. All right, let's count up, see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 30. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 40. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 50. So that's 50. Um, let's just try to go right for 100, don't you think? All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ninety. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one hundred. So that should be one hundred dollars right there. And I feel like that's a good amount of ones to like hang on to for the rolling and all of that. So we're gonna take a hundred back to the tray. So then this 100 will go, uh, yeah, we'll go to the bank with this 500, one, two, three, four, five, and that makes six hundred dollars to get my tires. So that's awesome. All right, I need a bank bag for this, which don't have ready at my disposal so I will just set it aside and then all of this money I will hang on to and I will put that into my 10k which is my 6k poster from budget with Ira and my 4k mega dice bundle from budget with Ira again those binders still have the cash in them so that is what we will do I will tell you more about my plans and all of the things that we are working towards our goal of course this year is to buy a house that is the main goal for me and my wife and we're so excited that we're kind of coming close to actually maybe being able to pull the trigger on something which is really super exciting so and again why we work so hard and why we save so much money so really exciting please make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already you won't want to miss my next video where i put all of this money towards my 10k savings goal and I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. It was really incredible to see how much money and savings I had just sitting in my binders. So I had a good time. I hope you guys did as well, but that is going to be it for today's video. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.